shaping machine in this video we will discuss about the shaping machine here is a workpiece and the tool this is a ram the shaper is a machine having reciprocating cutting tool and the fixed workpiece The function of shaper is primarily to produce flat surfaces. Shaper working principle. Now we will see uh, the working principle of a shaping machine. Work is feed a small distance each step. Feed of work and line of tool motion is in the same plane but perpendicular. The tool head is fitted on the front end of the ram. The workpiece is rigidly held over the table using a vise. The ram reciprocates to make the tool to cut the material in the forward stroke. During the return stroke, the tool does not cut any material and it is called the idle stroke. A combination of one cutting stroke and one idle stroke, it is called one pass. Now the Now we will discuss about the parts of shaper. The main parts of shapers are base, column, table, vise, tool head, ram, cross rail, base. Now we will discuss about the base of a shaping machine. Base, it is made of cast iron. It supports the whole of the machine and is bolted to the floor with the help of foundation bolts. Column. Now we will see the column. Now see the three day dimension of the column. It is a block type structure and is made up of cast iron. The inside surface of the column is hollow. Column is mounted on the base. Ram. This is the ram. It is made of cast iron with cross rib for uh, rigidity. Ram slides over the guideways on the top of the column. It carries the tool head and connected with the any one driving mechanism. Next table. Table. It is a both type a rectangular hollow casting. The table slides along the horizontal guideways of the cross rail. T slots are provided on the table for clamping the workpieces. Elevating screw is used to moving the uh, table vertically. Next is cross rail. Now see the 3D dimension of the uh, cross rail. 
The cross rail slides on the guideways provided at the front vertical face of the column. A saddle slides over the two guideways provided in the front face of the cross slide. Elevating screw is used for moving the table in vertical direction. Saddle This is the saddle. It is mounted on the cross rail. It supports the table, moves across the cross rail left to right. Movement obtained by a cross feed screw. Next is a tool head. Here is the tool head. It is attached to the front end of the ram. It carries clapper box and tool post on it. It can be swiveled at any angle on either side. Clapper box. Clapper box. It is hinged to the tool head. It houses clapper box. It swings outward in the return stroke. Whitworth Cube Return Mechanism. In this video, we will discuss about the Whitworth Cube Return Mechanism. Of a shaping machine. This mechanism is used to convert the rotary motion to reciprocating motion and provided the quick uh, speed on the return stroke. Let us see the main parts of the mechanism workpiece, tool, ram, base. Table, Pinion, Crank Pin, Crank Plate, Bull Gear, Connecting Rod, Forward stroke, return stroke. This is of the two strokes. Sliding block slides on the slot S. This crank plate is pivoted at the point S eccentrically. The connecting rod connects the crank pin with the ram. When the pinion rotates, bull gear rotates and the sliding block slides over the slot provided on the crank plate. Connecting rod converts the rotary motion of the crank plate to reciprocating motion of the ram. Since the crank plate is connected eccentrically, the crank plate rotates with respect to the point S. Crank and slotted link mechanism. This mechanism is used to convert the rotary motion to reciprocating motion and provided the quick speed on the return stroke. The rotary motion of the motor is converted to reciprocatory motion of the ram. 
the parts of the crank and shorted link mechanism are ram stroke position hand wheel ram clamping handle rocker ram bull gear driving pinion bull gear sliding block crank pin table this is the forward stroke and the return stroke the rocker arm is freely fixed to the crank pin rocker arm sliding block slides in the slot provided in the rocker arm called as slotted link machining horizontal surfaces now we can see how a horizontal surfaces is machined using a shaper 3d animation can be seen here this is the workpiece tool table is fed in this direction after each motion now you can see now machining vertical surfaces now uh, let us see how the vertical surfaces is machined using a shaping machine here we are giving depth of cut this is by doing elevating the uh, workpiece now machining hang angular surfaces here both the depth of cut is depth of cut and table feed is given depth of cut and feed this is how the angular surfaces are made 